Hey guys, Bobby Hughes here with uh, Heritage Pride Custom Firearms and uh, just wanted to uh, start a video on something I've got going on here that I haven't really started on yet but I'm getting ready to start on it. Um, I was thinking on the way home from work, I've been, I've been looking into, um, into solar power and uh, not to power my entire house but to have a way to uh, charge 12 volt batteries and uh, be able to use the 12 volt batteries with an inverter or whatever just to uh, you know to, to charge radios or batteries or something like that in a worst case scenario and um, I've been looking at, at solar panels and chargers and all this other stuff and I got to thinking about wind power and I'm not a big fan of, of wind power just because it's not efficient. But I started thinking about windmills and things like that. And mostly what it is is that I'm bored and I don't have anything to work on right now, so I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to find something to make. And I got to thinking, well, I could make a windmill and I could attach a generator to it or an alternator and use it as a trickle charger for a battery. So, you know me, I don't use plans, I just kind of build what's in my head. So what I'm going to start off with today is I'm going to start by building the base or the frame for, our, for a uh, windmill. It's not going to be big, it's going to be a small scale. And if it works, if it works efficiently, then when we move and we get our place, I may build a larger scale one that would charge faster or put out more power. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start on the base and then I'll kind of fill you in with my design as I go. And then that way uh, you guys understand what I'm getting at. Because like I said, I don't use plans, I just kind of build in my head. So uh, I'm going to get started on the base and uh, then I'll show you guys, or I'll kind of explain how it's going to work once I get the base built. So the way that I built the base is fairly simple. I, uh, I try to keep it very simple. Um, what I used here were T-posts, fence posts. Now these weren't brand new, these were used. Um, I uh, dug them out of, a, out of an old building. And what I did was I, I kind of just got an idea of what angle I wanted it to be at for the height. These are 68 inches tall. Um, yeah, no, I'm sorry. 68, is that something? Wrong? 78 inches tall. I thought that seemed a little short. 78 inches tall. And um, what I did was I, I just laid them over on the ground, and I decided that 10 degrees was going to be the angle in which I wanted my legs to extend out. So I cut a piece of 2 inch wide, quarter inch steel. Um, I'm sorry, 8 inch steel. It's just 
just a two inch piece. I cut it about 10, uh, I think I started out at about 10 and a quarter inch. And then I cut 10 degree angles on both ends. And I tacked, I laid it in place on the ground and tacked it into place. Then I came down here, keeping my 10 degree angle, and I just cut another cross piece, or another uh, T post, and cut a 32 inch section, is what it ended up being at that point. And I brought it down and tacked it into place. So that made one A frame. Then I repeated the same process and made the second A frame. Once I had the two A frames done, then it was as simple as cutting another 10, 10 inch piece and putting a 10 degree angle on it, bringing my top pieces in, and then tacking my uh, same thing, 8th inch, inch by 2 inches wide uh, steel on here. I just tacked it into place, and then I came down, spread the legs on the A frames, and put another 32 inch bar in. What that does, and then I repeated the same process on the other side. What that does is it gives us the same, both out on both sides. So it's a typical windmill stand, just like you would see uh, in full scale uh, out on an old farm or something. All right, so now I'm just going to give you a few close-ups uh, to show you what, what we've done so you can get a better look at it. You can see how the... Um, the thin steel on the top is just wrapped around and I'll explain the uh, the lip up here that sticks off here in just a second but anyway it comes down you can see it comes down now my uh, my framework down here is not the prettiest I wasn't going for pretty I was going for efficient so I just butted it up and welded it alright so I've got that welded into place now what I've done here to help keep it square because it's going to be a little bit out of square more than likely when you first put it together. The way to put it back into square, as long as it's not too far out, is I've got some steel cable here. I just picked this up at a local hardware store and I got some connectors and a tensioner. And so I wrapped it around. You can see how it wraps around here. And then it comes back. So this is a solid piece. It was wrapped all the way around. Then I come back to the center and tighten it up until it's good and tight. And it'll start to pull the corners in and push these corners out a little bit. And you should always start on which part of your square or which part of your frame is out of square. Start tightening that up first. Once you start to pull it back into square, then you want to go ahead and put your next piece on, tighten it down real tight and then finish tightening your other one down and let it pull the rest of the way into square while holding the other corners in place. And so that not only pulls it to square, but it'll also keep it square. All right guys, so that's pretty much it on the frame. Like I said, I started just to uh, go back over the measurements real quick. I started with 78 inch T-posts. I have their full length, I didn't cut them down. I laid them out, I used some 8 inch by 2 inch wide steel uh, banding and cut my pieces here. These are 10 and a quarter inches and then line those up and then I cut 32 inch cross members along the bottom and put those into place. And then using steel cable, pulled it all nice and square. That's going to be it for on this video as far as talking about the base or the frame of the base. Um, I'll show you guys the framework up top on the next video when I talk about the pivot for the um, windmill base or, or for the windmill uh, platform. Um, I'll talk about the framework up here. So that's it for this video guys. Um, and then also what I did was I just I took and cleaned it up real good and put a coat of primer on it and then it'll get a good coat of paint. Once I get it all assembled I'll pull it apart for disassemble or disassemble and pull it apart for painting and then we'll get it all painted. And that's it for this video. Um, if you have any questions or comments about how to do the framework, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to put a link like right here somewhere for you to go ahead and subscribe so that you can keep up with all the videos as we go.
So until next time, guys, I'm Bobby with HP Firearms. Uh, get out there, shoot some guns, be safe, and most importantly, have fun. See you guys later.